Welcome to the final installation on this three-part series of reverse engineering a Nintendo Pirate Arcade board. And you see I got it running over there, but, or do I? Well, here's the board that we all know and love, but the game's playing over there. So how's that happening? Well, I have finally implemented this on my FPGA. And I've got the mapper all entered and I made a bare log version of the mapper, stuck it in there and hacked it up and sure enough it works just great as you can see. It's going through its little track cycle over there right now. And all the games work, I played them all and they all play exactly like they do on this arcade board so I would call that a success. And if you want to download the text file on how it works, the ROM and all that, I'll provide a link down below so you can go and get the all the files out there. I got my Verilog file for this also, but it probably isn't going to help a lot of any a lot of people because you're going to need four megabytes of program and two megabytes of character on your flash cart. And none of the flash carts have that, so I don't know. The Verilog files just there just for fun, I guess. You know, I can take a look and see how I did it. And if you think something's wrong in the documentation, you can check the Verilog file because I know the Verilog file works because, as you can see, it's running the games right now. And some people have wondered what my FPGA video game board looks like, so we'll take a closer look and I'll show that it really is indeed running off of that board and it's not a trick or anything like that. I'm sure nobody thinks it is a trick, but just in case. Here's a quick overview of the FPGA system. I've got my, you know, Player One controller here. I got JTAG cable. The FPGA board with FPGA, and yes, that's a custom board I designed. A little serial doodad, and then we got audio, video, and then I've got this which is hooked up to the controllers, and then power, and that's it. There's nothing else. Here is our arcade board. Definitely not hooked up to anything. Everything works great on this, including the the menu, coin entry, and all the games run. And if you leave it here, it will go through its little cycle. But just to prove this is actually functioning off this FPGA, we can trace the cables. So there it is. RGB going into the monitor there. Going into the FPGA board. And here's a close-up of the FPGA board. FPGA is here. There's some SD RAM there. Some SS RAM there. And a few other little minor doodads. And the video DAC's there. And there's a DVI transmitter. Audio DAC power stuff, more power stuff. And then this is just a little serial interface. It's the USB to RS-232 at one megabaud. Yep, I'm in the middle of trying to get this to work here. Some of the games seem to work and some don't. I'm not sure why that is yet. So, game two, that works. And play it and all that, that's fine. Try game three here. That works too. Let's try game one. That's Mario 3 here. Nothing. It crashes. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's doing that yet. Reset it. Put some money in. Yeah, I noticed that, you know, games 2 and 3 those work, game 1 doesn't, game 4, oh yeah, that's right, that one like starts and crashes, uh, game 6, oh, that's no good, uh, it's kind of not very playable when it's doing that, hmm, Let's see here. What about game 10? Well, it looks like it works. Oh, I guess it doesn't work, does it? What's strange is the games that work versus the games that don't. I don't game is it 12. Yeah, the new Tetris. This actually works. Works just fine, actually. And yes, the graphics at the top were kind of screwed up. That's normal. Wow, this is such a new Tetris. I'm not exactly sure how it works. In any event, oh, I got to poke on it a bit more. 
Now, after playing around, I think I got it to work. Let's put some money in. Play Mario 1. See, that works now. And I've already got my leaf in that in inventory. Hmm, I guess you can do that. Like, was it 10? Yeah, 10 was not working very well. Yeah, the high-tech expressions, that's the warning label. It's a good thing they show that first. Yeah, it looks like this is working as well as it can work. Okay, enough of that. Put some more money in, and what was it? That Venture Island was all screwy too. Oh, it looks like that's working properly now. Yeah, I'd say that's working. Put some fake money in there. Oh yeah, let's try. Mr. Lee. Yeah, title screen's messed up, but that's normal. The original board did that too. I'm pretty sure it's because they hacked all the graphics out. Interesting that it doesn't show, it doesn't go through the title sequence there. It only does it in attract mode, I guess. Huh, that's interesting. Raymond Noodles just came out of a frog. I'm not sure I would eat anything that came out of a frog, but this guy sure seems to. In any event, I will reset the system here and let it play through its entire attract sequence because I know a lot of people want to see what games are on this and that'll let you see what games are on it and I'm sure someone will probably come up with a handy dandy list in the comments I hope and if so I will stuff that into my text file and as before if you want the text if you want the zip file it's down below
Hope you enjoyed it. As before, if you want to download all the information I did about this, the text file, ROM, Verilog file, and all that, you can look down below in the in the about section there, and I'll have a a link so you can get that. I don't know how long that link will stay active. Probably just a week or two. So if you want to get it now, otherwise it may be gone. And thanks for watching.